Okay, let's get to it. In this video, I'm going to show you how to import your PayPal transactions into QuickBooks. Uh, and this also works with Quicken. Um, but every once in a while, you may have known how to do this before, and it looks like they dropped the feature. They haven't dropped the feature, and there isn't a direct connection like there may be between your bank and QuickBooks. PayPal and QuickBooks, there's a couple extra steps. So the first thing you want to do is click on history. Before you used to be able to just have a drop down and it was uh, right there, but now they've moved it on their interface design, but it's still there. They didn't get rid of it. So once the history loads, okay, so once the history loads, then you want to come over to this side of the screen and there's this tab that says more. There's download CSV, but we don't want to download that. We want to download uh, click on download history and then you can choose a date range if you have a lot of PayPal transactions you can't do a full year download it into QuickBooks you're gonna have to break it up um, so you could try quarters or half a year or monthly if you end up having to do that um, but then you select the type of file right down here QuickBooks is a .iif file, or if you have Quicken, you can download that as well. Now, once you um, have that selected, and then you click Download History, it is going to tell you um, that you're going to have to, well, let's just go ahead and pull this up. So if you've changed the names of your account um, on QuickBooks from this, then you're going to have to then you're going to want to or you can do it in QuickBooks but then when you click download log it will tell you that your request has been processed and it will be available shortly now depending on how big the file is it can take a while um, sometimes it can take up to a whole day um, so hopefully you don't have a deadline like I do but anyway, that's how you, uh, and then when you launch QuickBooks, you go up to File, and then Utilities, um, and then in Utilities, there is an option to import a .iif file, and then it should be fairly straightforward from there, but I hope that helped at least save you some time in, in trying to figure out where they put it. They didn't get rid of it, but if this was helpful, please uh, rate and comment. Thanks for watching.